nobody fucking with me, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Cause I got on. Welcome back, Best Uni Crew. It's your girl. You know your girl gotta come on here and be all extra as usual. So I'm going to try and uh well I'm not gonna try. I don't know how this is gonna work for something bigger, but we did it for a cigarette lighter. But I want to make a football team chair today, so you know your girl like to be different. And I understand I can use printable vinyl and shipping label and all the other extra and everything, but I don't want to. So what I'm going to do today is try to uh not try to we're going to we're going to sublimate on uh, this um uh, regular sheet of vinyl which is the oracle brand 651 we're going to use some thermal um uh, laminating pouches or whatever and my image of my choice we're going to try to put it on a chair we know it worked for the cigarette lighters and the vinyl did hold up pretty good, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this under here. I'm going to use my butcher paper Mama Gloria bought me. And I am going to... Let me find it, child. Hold on. It be acting all extra when I get on camera. It don't be wanting to corroborate. I'm going to open it up. And I'm just going to rip it in half. Like that. I got two sheets. So, I'm going to put the sheet down on top of my vinyl. It's already hot. I ain't even pressed it good. Woo. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Use my butcher paper. I'm just going to press it for six seconds because um, that's how long my heat press is going for, six seconds. Um, and I'm going to let it cool because if you watched the last video, I have to in order for it to work right. I have to let it cool in order to pull the vinyl off of this part. I'm going to let that cool for a second. You see the vinyl is stuck to my uh, butcher paper. So when it cools, I can be able to get it off better. So it's cooling off so far. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna put the pressure a little longer. But the deal with the deal. We just going we gotta press it again anyway. So hopefully everything that didn't get pressed, pressed. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit because I want the vinyl to kind of be able to adhere back to itself. And then the laminated paper. Need to be a little cool because I'm doing the sublimation on top of it. So, yeah. I'm going to try to line my paper up as good as I can onto it. Hopefully come out good. Because uh, once I um, put my image on there, I'm going to cut around the image. And then I'm going to put it on the chair. And I'm going to put the other word in and all that good stuff, y'all. Yes. And I think I am going to have to uh, resin the chair, maybe. I don't know yet. We're going to... We're going to see, but I might just spread sealer, but I don't know because, you know, I never did it this big, but you know, your girl knows it. You know, I got to try. So it has cooled off just a tad. So now what I'm going to do, try to get that uh, sublimation paper as even as possible onto them. Okay. So we're just going to go. And we're going to press it this time for 60 seconds. Y'all count for me because you know your girls will be winging it. Like different. I want it to be different. Okay, we got to let that cool. So, let me turn that off. 
If that didn't work, it is what it is, but hey. Let it come over this way. I'm gonna let it like sit. Y'all don't talk about my table. My table dirty. Yeah, so I got a lot going on. A lot of projects today. I got off work and came home and sat down yet. I've been working since I got off. So I'm all excited about the chairs tables and you know football season coming up so i gotta get this work because the girl need that money and then i want to go to georgia and uh, see my cousin you know she had the baby so i want to go down there and help with the baby and see the baby and just really spend some time hopefully we don't go through what we went through last time we went but we just gotta stay prayed up okay now this place is tripping i don't know why going on with it, y'all. We don't need all this excess, uh, extra paper, no way. Huh? Damn. Maybe they won't notice it. What you think? <laughs> Dang it, bruh. I wonder, can I mash it some more? Hmm. It's like the laminated paper didn't stick there or something. Let's see, can I get another go? I need that to lay down. Come on, y'all. He's just rubbing it. Trying to get some of them air bubbles out of it. Trying to get that color on there, right? Oh, shit, that got some grease or something on the thing. Something on here. Shit. I'm, I'm almost getting it, y'all. I just gotta play with it some more. So I'm gonna press it again. Hopefully, the damn vinyl stick after I get through pressing it so many times, huh? I had to turn the heat press off anyway. Of it. I just don't want her to have them blotches on her. I don't know why she got blotches. I don't know what that means. So, it's going to look as bad as it did. And the lady I'm doing it for, she's sweet. Um, MS Lottery, uh, Miss Mississippi Lottery winner. She, um, Ordered it from me, and she doing it for her sister. And her and her sister are very good people. And I wanted her chair to be different. So, okay. So, I'm just going to cut her out by hand. I didn't use the cricket because I had got a big as the paper, uh, eight by eleven paper. And you know, cricket don't let you do all that. So.
Okay, come on, then. Okay, we gotta cut up. But, girl, don't know yet. We don't know until we try, right? So, we just gonna wing it. So, right here is where I will put her. And then I'm gonna put the word, uh, still a girl. So, yeah, I need to make it to where I can see shit. So, fingers crossed, crew. Can you see? Bottom first or what? I don't know what to do. I'm nervous. Oh wow. Damn paper stuck to my vinyl, y'all. We're gonna have to nigga rig some shit. <sighs> See that paper stuck to my vinyl. So I got some double sided tape. I had to throw a couple pieces of that on there. Just to make it, you know, stay. Because the paper is on there. Let's pull out my nail and paper. My nail and paper came up just then. It's not good. So I will probably have to resin the chair. I don't want to. If I have to, I will. Okay, let's fix this. So I got the double sided tape right here. So we about to bootleg the shit out of this chair. So I'm going to put some of that double sided tape right there. Just let's just see what we do. All I do is pull the back off of it. And then I'm going to stick it right here. And I'm going to cut the excess. Get off my scissors. So, we cut the excess off. Yeah, the stuff I go through. I try to get shit done. It makes me mad sometimes. But when it works out, it works out. And it's working. So, we got another little piece that needs to be um, kind of taped right here. So, that's what I'm going to do here. Cut the excess tape. That's okay. We're going to get it done, though. We know what not to do next time. So I'm just going to pull the back in. Probably could have covered the whole thing here with uh, the double side tape. That double side tape don't play, baby. That's that mountain tape. Okay. Now we're just going to put it on here. And pray for the best. Pray that your girl can see even. Because you know I can't. Okay. So. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. So I'm going to put this on the chair here. Get it, forget it. So, this is what it's looking like right here. And as you can see, her face is still a little blotchy, but I don't think that's really gonna matter. And uh, we got that part on there. So now we just gotta put this part on the top. Hold on. Okay, so we got that part on. Now I'm gonna put this little look and logo right here. I'm going to add her name to the back of the chair. Okay, crew. So far, 
This is what it looks like. I got a name on the back. So, you're just going to try the resin. Hopefully, it don't mess nothing up. Like I said, it'll be the first time I'm doing it with resin. So, I'm debating on should I seal it, spray seal it on it first because it already has that laminated paper on it to seal. But, I'm trying to get out my fingerprints and stuff off the damn shadow of it. Resin, pick all that shit up. Okay. So, yeah. And I'm thinking about putting some here. I don't know yet. But, yeah. Let me mix the resin. Okay, Unicru, crew. I'm going to use this filler spray to spray the chair anyway, give it a more glossy look. So, I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna come back. Do the resin. Okay, Unicru. Fingers crossed. Got my resin mixed. Got me a little brush thingy. So I'm gonna have to take my time and really get this done. So I don't want it to be really jacked up. So I'm gonna be rushing everything. I'm just gonna brush. gonna show me if it's gonna work out or not. I just need a gloss and I really just want to protect this picture. So I'm gonna get the picture out of the way first. I might have let the resin sit a little tad longer than I should have. But I didn't want it to come out like my combs. I didn't give y'all an update on them combs I did y'all. It was trash. It, it was jacked up bad. It was all flimsy because I guess I didn't mix my resin good enough. To my spot, was sick. And I was like, man, he did bad on me. You so, uh, know, don't worry about nothing falling and all that kind of stuff because I'm going to let it run like it's supposed to into each other. Blow, uh, blow dry with that heat gun thingy, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the girl is. I'll just be winging it. See a couple bubbles. So, trying to hurry up. So I'll leave a couple streaks. No, oh god damn it, y'all. <sighs> Fucking vinyl peeling. <sighs> hopefully, 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 I can fix that. Hopefully, I can fix that. Now I'm gonna be sick. I hate when they do that. Damn E rolling up. Fuck. This girl can't be great. She just won't let me. But we gotta nigga rig some shit. Cause this chair is paid for. And I need that money. I'm praying she like it here. But Shell is nice anyway. Shell just wanted us to join it. Our sister something so I'm pretty sure she'll love it no matter what I did. So we we finna have to nigga read something real quick. So up with the vinyl. I need that to stay there. 
and just praying that that's, that's heating up with my shit. Let's stay in one spot. She did it again. So, the problem I see now is my lettering because of the vinyl. So, maybe I should have did the vinyl on top. My letters are rolling up. It's only like a couple of them. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that to stay. Because once that resin get behind anything you do, it's a wrap. We got to figure something out. So. so far, everything looks good with the picture. I'm not going to touch that too much because I'm scared. But right here is my flaw. There you go. See, right here. If you can see it's rolling. It's rolling up here. So I'm trying to get it brush down. I'm going to keep fucking with it until the resin get kind of tacky. And if I can get that to lay down, I'll probably go over it with another coat. So yeah, y'all just comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And let me know how I did. So, yeah, I'm going to keep messing with it. But uh, this is what it's looking like so far. And I'll just let y'all know what happens afterwards. It don't look bad. Trying to leave it alone, but it's so hard. Y'all know, you know your girl. It's so hard. <sighs> just wanted to stay. And, uh, so I just got to keep messing with it. It's looking like it's trying to lay down. I just got to keep pushing it into that resin when that resin get harder. And hopefully it'll lay down. But if not, I can nigga rig. You already know your girl got some skills. I figure out something to get that motherfucker to lay down. But, yeah, I'm gone for real this time, y'all. Happy blessed.